Good evening, everyone. I'm Patty Kinnersley, CEO of Our Watch. Our Watch is a national leadership organisation charged with driving efforts to prevent violence against women and their children before it starts. I'll begin by thanking Emma and Women's Health Queensland for inviting me to be here this evening and congratulating you for joining your fellow Queensland journalists and industry experts to discuss an issue is that is important to us all. We all know the reality of violence against women is devastating, but we also know it's preventable. It is gender inequality that sets an underlying context for violence against women, with drivers such as rigid gender stereotypes, male control of decision-making in public and private life, and forms of masculinity that emphasise disrespect towards women. Another key driver is the condoning or excusing of this violence. This is why Our Watch works in partnership with media, given your integral role in shaping and influencing community attitudes. Good reporting can be the difference. The difference between a woman staying silent or having the courage to speak up about her situation. The difference between a perpetrator thinking he's getting away with this or understanding that his behaviours and, and attitudes are condoned. And it is the difference between the public accepting violence against women as just the way things are, or understanding that it is preventable and that we all have a role to play, particularly by promoting and normalising gender equality. We recognise that you don't have an easy job, especially when reporting on this issue. We know you are constantly under time pressure, increasingly under-resourced, and you need to consider complex legal considerations. But that is why we're here to support you. As well as developing university curriculum for journalists, we deliver newsroom training, and in partnership with journalists and industry experts, we've, pro we've produced national media guidelines to help make your job easier. In Queensland, we've worked on the Violence for Change program run by Brisbane Domestic Violence Service, which champions the voices of survivor advocates to be heard in the media. We acknowledge that Queensland has embarked on significant reform based on Quentin Bryce's Not Our, Not Now, Not Ever report, which included the creation of Queensland Domestic and Family Violence Media Guide. Our watch work aims to complement and strengthen your locally based resources such as this. We know that media coverage that correctly identifies and reports the underlying drivers of violence against women can not only improve the public's understanding of the issue but make a real contribution to creating a safer community. And we've certainly seen some progress with more media examining the drivers of violence against women rather than focusing on the victim or singling out factors like alcohol and mental health. We still have a little way to go, however. Research shows that 15% of Australian-based media reports include elements that we would consider victim blaming. And when reporting on sexual violence, only 2% of news articles feature violence against women advocates or experts as a source. The nature of your reporting is vital. The more accurately media can report on this violence, the more we can influence long-term systemic and attitudinal change. I hope you enjoy your evening and I really wanna thank you again for being here. Together, we are stronger and together we can stop violence against women and their children before it starts.